Hey, hey, y'all. So it's me, Tessa from Tessa's Tarot, your favorite tarot reader. Coming to give you some energy for today. So you know what to do. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. If you like a personal reading, my information is in the description box. And just a note that once I hit 10,000 subscribers, I will no longer be offering personal readings. Um, and let's get into this. So what's the energy around Gemini for currently? For current, <coughs> excuse me, y'all, for right now. What's the energy around Gemini for right now? I don't know why, but I feel changes, changes, changes. I feel like there are some changes that are happening or will be happening or have already happened. Significant changes that will impact you in some way. Now, I would be affirming that everything in my life is perfect because and everything's always working out in my favor. That way, whatever changes go on, they won't have... Or your assumption won't be that they will have a negative impact. I like to assume that any change that happens is 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 in ah, excuse me, y'all, is a benefit to me. Okay, it it makes things go in my favor. It happens to benefit me in some way. Okay, but I do feel changes. <clears throat> what is the energy around you? All right, okay. I flipped over real quick. What was that? Rest and, reju rest and re uh, rejuvenation. So some of you guys are in need of a rest or will be in need of resting. Some of you guys have taken a rest. I'm getting hermit mode also. Virgo energy. Um, <clears throat> I, know I saw another card that was flipped over. Yeah. Triumph. Okay. I feel like there's going to need to be a rest, mental conflict in reverse. So I feel like there's going to need to be a rest that's going to happen because like I said, obstacles and challenges, listen, <laughs> rest and rejuvenation came out again. This is in a different deck. I have two decks combined here. Listen, there, so there's one of two things. I feel like there's clarity that you have clarity around some sort of situation, okay? Um, because of a rest that has been taken, okay? Rest and rejuvenation has come out twice here. <laughs> I feel like whatever you face, you will be triumphant in it, okay? You will be triumphant in it, but I feel like there are changes that are either happening, has happened, or will happen, okay? I just get a real, like the energy to me is just kind of like, I don't want to say chaotic, but you can just feel that things are shifting, that things are changing. Okay. It's all in how you look at it. It's all about, it's all about your assumptions, what you assume about stuff. To me, you could assume that you work better under pressure. I always thrive under pressure. I thrive during challenges. Okay. Um, but I feel like whatever's going on or whatever's happening, you're going to be triumphant in it. Okay. It's going to take for you to be mentally clear. And what I, what I mean by mentally clear is staying, I hate to say positive, but staying where your thoughts benefit you, staying on top of your mental diet, making sure that, that your thoughts are beneficial to you in your situation. Okay. That's what it's going to take. <clears throat> what is the energy around you right now? What is the energy around Gemini right now? What is the energy around Gemini right now? What's the energy around Gemini right now? What's the energy around Gemini right now?
six of cups so nostalgia ace of swords the devil the devil been coming out a lot for y'all the devil hasn't come out a whole lot for y'all queen of swords ten of pentacles will of fortune I'm going to tell you what, whatever you're daydreaming about, about this family situation, okay, it's going to come to pass, okay, Wheel of Fortune here, Six of Cups, Scorpio Energy, Ten of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, Ace of Swords, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy, Devil, Capricorn Energy, and Queen of Swords. I feel like with this Devil, Queen of Swords, <laughs> First of all, I feel like you guys may be in kind of like a devilish, mischievous energy, okay? With that devil, queen of swords. But I also feel like you are super at attached or super attracted to somebody, okay? What's this queen of swords devil energy? You also may be, so, yeah, Nine of Cups. So, one or two things here. I feel like you were kind of wavering about um, a romantic situation. You were kind of wavering about it. But I feel like now you know that this can work. With this Eight of Pentacles here, Two of Pentacles, which is another Ten of Pentacles. You know that this can work or you know you can make this work, okay? So, I feel like you're now in that energy of... I get what I want. I always get what I want. Nobody can stop me. I feel like that's the energy that you're in, okay? This Knight of Cups, you may be trying to manifest a love offer in, or you may, be, you may um, take control because that Devil card, if you look at that card, that's a dominatrix on the card. You may take control and make a love offer, okay? But I feel like you're in a very, I just get a very confident energy when i look at that queen of swords with that devil pair pair with that devil okay also if this is a work situation i feel like you're going to take control or take the lead in something okay i feel like you're going to be offered because i feel like you have some kind of leader energy or um you have a way of getting people to follow you um and so i feel like you're going to be offered some kind of leader position okay you may have been weighing your options about this position, but I feel like in the end, Wheel of Fortune, um, especially with Ten of Pentacles out here, the money, you may have been concerned about the money or how much was going to be offered to you. But I feel like if you want, let's just say you want to make well over $100,000, I make well over $100,000. That would be my affirmation. I am offered a position making well over $100,000 and I would just keep affirming that, okay? I feel like whatever you want, to come out of this situation, you're going to get it. It's going to go in your favor with this Wheel of Fortune card here. Two of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy, Knight of Cups, Pisces, Aquarius Energy. <clears throat> What's this Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Swords? Knight of Pentacles. Once again, um, I feel like you have clarity around this family situation okay but i feel like it was a long time coming okay not a pinnacle it was slow okay but now but it's here now and you have the clarity yeah king of cups knight of cups i feel like this is somebody that you've already dealt with and i feel like this is after a heartbreak of some sort three of uh swords libra energy this person most probably had you in a third party okay but i see I, I get big reconciliation energy just looking at this half of this okay um, and I feel like you're very confident in it. You know that you can achieve it. King of Cups. <clears throat> this is somebody who definitely has love for you. Definitely has love. Um, is in love with you. Especially with the King of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Um, but this is somebody who may not wear those emotions on his sleeve. He may be acting very cool, calm, and collected. Okay. I just feel like things were a long time coming or things were slow going with this Knight of Pentacles, but things will be steady, okay? There will be longevity to this situation, especially with the King of Pentacles, I mean, with the Ten of Pentacles out here. King of Cups, Scorpio, Libra energy. What's this Six of Cups, Will of Fortune? That's way too many. 
lovers. Um, we can take them. Mm, fool card. Definitely a new beginning. Okay. Queen of Wands. And you're aggressive. I'm telling you, some of y'all are really aggressive. Some of y'all are really aggressive right now. Some of y'all may be um, dedicated to some kind of workout plan, but some of y'all, but y'all are looking good. You're in your, <clears throat> I get bad bitch energy, especially over here. Okay. Also, there could be a queen, there, a, a queen of wands energy could have been that third party. Um, that's just as a side note, but I really feel like you are in your, um, I feel like you're in your bag. When it comes to your self appearance, you're very look at this shit. Sun card, yeah. Seven of Wands, yeah. You're in that um, energy where if you don't have anything positive or if you're not bringing good energy towards me, stay out my face. That's what you're in. That's the energy that you're in. Seven of Wands, Leo energy. Leos are very brag have have a very braggadocious energy. They have a very much look at me energy. I feel like that's where you're at. Where all eyes are on you, okay? Eyes are on you. Eyes are on you. And I feel like this is after a time of you feeling trapped. Okay, eight of swords. Whether it was mentally or physically trapped somewhere. I feel like this... I, I've been feeling a shift, a very big shift since about Saturday. Okay? Eight of swords, Gemini energy. So I feel like you've gone from trapped, fearful, heartbroken to very, very confident... Um, very much uh, confident in your abilities, confident in your manifesting ability, abilities, confident in what you want, and confident in knowing that you can and will achieve it. I just get a very confident energy here. <clears throat> I'm going to say once again about that Beyonce album, the Renaissance album. I know the first time I mentioned that everybody wanted to talk about how she was a devil worshiper and blah 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 but that album is a digital musical affirmation um that album is very much a self-concept album um yeah that's all i'm gonna say about that that's all i'm gonna say about that situation will improve be assertive there's something better remain positive listen the remain positive is just what i was saying about your assumptions based on any situation that that may arise i hate to say remain positive because it sounds so cheesy but making sure that your mental diet is intact no matter what the situation is okay that's how that to me that's how you overcome challenges and obstacles okay there is something better. I really feel like, especially with this Wheel of Fortune, a, a lot of y'all going to be coming into a lot of good things. There's a lot of good things going on for the Gemini Collective, I feel like, okay? Be assertive. I feel like you don't have any issue with being assertive. You're not having any issue with being assertive. You got the, you got this and this out here. You might, you, hell, you might be a little bit too assertive, but hey, it is what it is. But I feel like you're definitely in control or trying to be in control or wanting to be in control, okay? And then the situation will improve. Definitely after this three of swords heartbreak here with this king of cups, I feel like things have been slow going, but you will see if you have not already started to see, you will see improvement. It may just be slow or it may have been slow going, but you will see improvement, okay? So Gemini, I hope this reading was helpful for you. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. If you'd like a personal reading, my information is in the description box. Um, once I hit 10,000 subscribers, I will no longer be offering personal readings, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.